All right, coming to our corner of business. This is our TNT and our rocket shop. What is up, guys? Welcome back to another episode on the Eternals SMP. In the previous episode, we harvested all of our farms to restock our rocket shop. And in doing so, we learned that our TNT shop was indeed out of stock. So in today's episode, we are going to get ourselves back into business. To stock up our TNT shop, we are going to need a fair amount of sand. And while I do have some, I do not have enough. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to the desert. We'll grab our shovel. I've already prepared a bunch of shulkers. We may not need them all. We may not use them all. But just in case, and we're also going to need another shovel. Because I've done this before and I have burned through the first shovel and needed to get the other. So we'll just get prepared for that. And luckily for us, we live right next to a desert. Just for reference, this is our mega base right here. And then the desert is right behind us. So we're going to go to that. I'm thinking what I might do is just go through the portal. Actually, no, we'll fly there. That way you guys get to enjoy the view along the way, just for you guys if everything renders in on time. Rendering's a bit slow. Should be coming up to it now. Yep, here we are. And there is in fact a portal here. I don't know if there is still an ender chest there. I hope so. Yeah, there is. Sweet. Amazing. All right, guys. So I'm going to throw it into a time lapse and we're going to destroy this desert a little bit more, get a bunch of sand, make a bunch of TNT and restock our shop. So I'll see you guys in a bit. All right, it is a new day. I spent a couple of days out here actually, like four or five, but uh, we got a bunch of shulkers. The damage is we have two broken shovels, or well, almost broken you could say, completely devoured, gone. 
and the desert is getting well it didn't look like this before i destroyed it even more and the next time we come here we'll probably take out that whole chunk and that whole side so resources are getting scarce out in this desert and it takes a lot of time to get those resources hear me out hear me out i'm getting somewhere also the amount of time it takes to repair those as well as you know everything else it's getting a bit uh crazy out here in the business so i have a proposition due to the scarce resources due to the amount of work the amount of time and how fast sales go out we're going to have to increase our price to reduce the amount of sales even by a little bit but let's just say inflation right we're going to call it inflation uh, and our prices will i guess fluctuate depending on sales and resources and all of that stuff which will obviously be depicted by me acting like the real world anyhow so we've got yeah we've got the resources that we need we're going to go back into the back to the shop and we're going to oh back to the mega base sorry and then we are going to make a bunch of tnt okay and back home we are once again this is going to take a bit of time to craft all this so i'm going to do all that skipping it for you guys I'm going to craft as much tnt as we possibly can and then we'll meet up and stock our shop okay so after crafting for some time we have almost three shulkers filled with tnt and then we have eight shulkers filled with rockets for the rocket shop i did say in the previous episode that i wanted to start selling rockets by the shulker boxes and now we can so i'm going to go to the shop and i'll meet you guys there all right coming to our corner of business this is our tnt and our rocket shop i think you might start with the rockets first we're going to pop these guys here i think that's all rockets right none of that is tnt no yep we'll pop these all down in front of the shop and we'll make a sign for it giving a price for per shulker box so there's our eight we'll pop a sign down and we're gonna go uh four diamonds equals one shulker box shulker of rocket awesome and i've bought some glow insects to Brighten that up a bit. And then for the pricing over here, we had it two diamonds for nine stacks. We're going to reduce that to one diamond for nine stacks. I think that's pretty fair. It is fairly easy to get these. It's not like TNT. So with that, that's all of the rockets stocked. I think I've just got this middle barrel to do. But we'll stock that up shortly. As for our TNT shop that is out of stock. Actually, we should have left that there. Let's just go... Back in business. Business. Yeah. Cool. And I might name that the uh, title of the episode. So we've got no diamonds. Last episode we sold everything. But today we're going to restock this and change our pricing like I said earlier in the desert. Grab all this. We had it set at two diamonds for one stack of TNT. Which I think is pretty cheap. Like very cheap. I also want to do this as well. Boom. Perfect. I should have done that in the beginning. But whatever. Whatever. Yeah so we'll change your prices. It is fairly cheap like I was saying. I think two diamonds is pretty cheap. If you were to get two diamonds. Grab one stack. You could get yourselves a pretty good amount of ancient debris. From that too. Just from two diamonds. So we're going to essentially double our price, increase profits, and lower the sales, the amount of sales. This might compel people to buy less, but again, we sell out way too fast. So TNT, four diamonds equals one stack. And we don't have any more 
glowing sacks for that, but that's fine. I think I wasted one. Oh yeah, no, I use it at the front. Back in business. Uh, and we'll go price change. Let's type this inflation <laughs> just for the guys, just for someone to laugh at later. Anyhow, guys, that is that. Stocked up our rocket shop, stocked up the TNT shop, adjusted the prices, and we'll check back in a week or two for our profits and sales. All in a day's work. It has become that time where we pick an eternal trial. Hopefully we can complete one before the end of our episode if it's an extravagant one. Then again, we'll do it next episode. But it's always nice to grab one anyhow. I'm going to pop our old one into the anvil. I'm going to rename it, but I won't let you guys see that. So we're going to pop that one back and grab ourselves a brand new trial. Every time someone asks you something, reply with something random. Right. So, what does that mean? Does that mean, like, if someone comes online and they're like, Hey Stumps, how are you? That's a question. Then I respond with chickens. And they might go, you know, how's your day or what are you doing? Then I just reply with pizza. I don't know why I'm naming food. I'm, I'm actually hungry. That's the only thing I could think about right now. Here's something I wanted to update you guys on. I'm not sure if you can see all of this. Might be a bit dark, but we're at the creeper farm underneath the mega base. I have just fixed up all the placement with the carpet and placed more torches underneath in every single trench. Everything else is a pocket of water, thankfully. So we got lucky with that. And on that note, the creeper farm is a little, that little bit more efficient once again. Just want to give you that update, give you a little show. For a creeper farm underground with five levels, this is pretty good. I mean, certainly explains where all that gunpowder came from. But now that I fixed the carpet, well, we're going to be getting a little bit more than what we were already getting. Oh, wow, look at that. Let's go inside, have a look. We're in free cam just to give you guys a show. Can't stabilize, sorry guys. But just really, really cool. Give me all the gunpowder. Because now we're pretty low. After all that with the TNT, we literally don't even have one shulker of gunpowder. And we had like, I'm going to say 14 to like 17 shulkers of gunpowder beforehand. So yeah. We need to restock with that. Because once our TNT sells, if it does, we need to be able to do that. So sweet. I'm happy with that. Don't know about you guys. But um, I think that's pretty cool. Pretty cool. In the last episode, I was, I did have intentions to do a little bit more to the pond, but because of our trial, having to play in third person, we didn't do that. So I'm thinking today we can add a little bit of this going around. I'm going to have to go out and get some more seagrass later, for sure. I just thought we could add a couple more bits and pieces. Once they grow, it's probably going to look pretty good. We'll have to have a little patch of it here in the water somewhere. It's got to be random. It can't be put like symmetrical and square or whatever. And we're glitching out a bit. Oh, okay. So that's with all that. So we got a little patch. And then we've got some in the corners. Then I want to start with these drip leaves. I'm going to use a few of these. This allows me to. Uh, I need to be on a block, right? Oh, on a dirt block. Okay. So those can go there. We can pop one over here. Awesome. Once that grows, it's probably going to look a little bit better. There's not a lot of change to it. But to be honest, all I really wanted to do was add some of these in and some kelp just to bring some more vegetation to the pond once that grows we're gonna have a little patch of it might not look that bad when we're fishing but on that note guys moon guy is online so 
but I have tried to talk to him and he is AFK. So I'm thinking we will obviously catch him next time. We'll try to catch somebody else next time for that eternal trial where we have to answer questions. Uh, when they ask you something, answer it with a random response. So we'll do that once we can. But uh, like I said, I did try to get his attention to get a response and then in hopes to get some clips for that, I guess we'll do that next time. Oh, yo, a horse. I'm going to grab a saddle and get him up to the mega base. So we have two of everything. Let's, let's go. Uh, saddle, we have one. That'll do. We need that. Hello there, horsey. I'm coming for you. Don't reject me, sir. We are friends. This is cool. Come on. I am your owner now. I can't be that heavy. Come on, dude. There we go. Let's pop this on you. And now we can ride you up this hill. Uh, there we go. Now I'm going to do the same thing with you as what I did with the camel. We're going to take you up the water stream. Oh, ouch. Did you survive that? You did, right? Oh, you did. Sweet. I was going to say, I was freaking out. I was like, you didn't even make the dying sound. Come down here at once. Yeah, I knew that I wasn't going to reach that. I don't even know why I tried. Excuse me, sir. I know it was my fault, but, uh... Let's go. And then if I get you in here and pop off, you should go up like the camel did. No. Alright, go. Deja vu. Why are you spinning around like that? Just swim up to the top, dude. I'll see you up there. Yeah, you don't swim very fast. Camel went up straight away. Another reason why I love this pond is just so I can dive in it. Super cool. Now I gotta wait for this slow horse. Let's just see where it's at. Oh, it's almost here. You are spinning out, mate. Oh, great. It's stuck. Alright. We're going to try this again. Got it out last time. Okay, sweet. Sweet. You're not as big as the camel, so it wasn't as hard to get you up that. Oh. Now, last time I made stairs for the camel, we're not going to do that. I'm going to feed you some apples, and hopefully you have full health. You don't have much health. Right. Yep, I'm going to jump into Mega Base with him, but I think... I don't know. Water should break his fall, right? Surely. That's just Minecraft mechanics. We're going to find out. We're going to find out. And I'll have to place the torches later. Alright, big guy. We are going. Let's go. Huh. Oh yeah, that was amazing. I don't know why I said bull, yeah, that's like so 1997 stuff. But, uh, that was the year I was born, so there's my excuse. And you can go right here, and I'll get you some clothes, don't you worry, don't you worry. It was actually quite successful. Now I have two dogs, two horses, two camels, and two alays. Oh, you broke the same pattern too, I didn't realise. 
I should have, because, you know, Echo's been my horse since forever. But, uh, yeah. Does that make his breed? Oh, we... oh, hello. That's pretty cute. I think I'll keep you, because you're cute. That is, uh, that's something. Uh, but I can't put a saddle on you, and I can't ride you, so let's just get a string and lock you up now. That has got to be the cutest horse I've ever seen. I don't really do this uh, horse breeding thing, so this is a first. Alright. It's so little. Come over here. Where shall we put you? Not with your parents, because they might step on you. Perfect. And you are not allowed to go down there, okay? Really, really, really cool. That's probably the best part of today's episode. This beautiful individual right here. With all that being done, guys, we'll just have to do that trial next episode when somebody comes online and asks us a bunch of questions. And on that note, just want to say a few things before we go. I am getting pretty hungry, so I am going to actually get some food after this episode, but Firstly, I want to say much love. I hope you guys are well and I hope you guys are safe. Thank you to all my supporters out there. Every single one of you guys, I cannot thank you enough. We have just passed 6,000 subscribers and that is amazing. Such an achievement and only possible because of you guys. There is no me without you. So with all that, thank you. Leave a comment and like below if you enjoyed. And I'm going to have to see you guys in the next video. Bye.